So this question says Caleb used juice to make popsicles. The function f of x equals negative 5x plus 30 approximates the volume in fluid ounces of juice Caleb had remaining after making x popsicles. All right, so x represents popsicles. Keep that in mind. Which statement is the best interpretation of the y-intercept of the graph of y equals f of x? Well, what is the y-intercept? The y-intercept is actually going to be this 30 right here because this is based upon f of x equals mx plus b. You may have seen this more so as y equals mx plus b. Just don't remember, don't forget that y is f of x, so that can always be switched out. But the main point here is that the b position is the y-intercept. So that's why I know that 30 here, because it's in the b position of this function, is the y-intercept. So which statement is the best interpretation of the y-intercept? Well, what is our y-intercept? It's 30. So we knew that x represents popsicles. Um, we, know that, we know that the function is based upon approximating the volume of fluid ounces of juice Caleb had remaining, that's important, remaining after making x popsicles. So if, for instance, no popsicles had been made, that means x would be zero, which would make this whole term here right, five time, negative five times zero, this whole term would be zero, and I'd simply have f of x equals 30. Now, what does that mean? That means that before any popsicles are made, there are 30 fluid ounces of juice. And then after you start making popsicles, you're taking basically five, that's what the negative five here would mean, five fluid ounces of juice per popsicle. So let's find the answer that matches what we just figured out. Choice A, Caleb used approximately five fluid ounces of juice for each popsicle. That is true, but that is not the interpretation of 30, right? So that's why A is gone. Choice B, Caleb had approximately five fluid ounces. Really, we shouldn't be dealing with five at all because it's the 30 that is the y-intercept. Choice C, Caleb had approximately 30 fluid ounces of juice when he began to make the popsicles. Exactly. That's exactly what we just figured out. So choice C must be the correct answer.